Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy Legendary Fred here today. Today, I will be guys uh, teaching you guys a technique on how to better improve your offense. It is called the DR Cross. But before we get into the video, make sure to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you guys want me to do next. All right. I kind of touched on this on my last video. A lot of you guys were asking me, yo, what is the DR Cross? I would want a better explanation about it. So in this video, I'll be teaching you what a DR Cross is, how to use it, and when to use it. All right. Now to explain what a DR Cross is. A DR Cross is basically a timing that mimics the same timing as DR. So for example, cut for 2 eighths. I mean 6 eighths, I'm sorry. So this is 25 frames, but since it is 25 frames, DR can go from 19 to 24. Most of the time, for a DR Cross, you will kind of want it around the 24 to 28, or depending if it's going to hit them. It could be a little bit faster as long as it doesn't hit them. For example, if it's Vito's, the Vito's thing is faster. Uh, well, technically, when the circle comes up, it's faster, but the whole move isn't faster. All right. So now, to, to further explain, a DR crush mimics the timing of DR, so most people like to end up trying to take DR. So I have the watch set to take DR right now, and I also have them set to do 6 8. So I'm going to, for the for the sake of the video, I'm going to have them do run up 6 8 and run up DR. I might take it, I might not, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to do it. So right now, I am trying to, uh, as you guys can see, I can't even take the DR. But the reason why I can't take the DR right now at the moment is because I am hesitating because of the 6 8. So right now, I don't have them set to random, but I, I promise you I have it set to the 2. So right here, since it mimics the timing of it, or close enough to the timing, it makes me not end up taking DR as fast. So if I'm not taking DR as fast, it's because I'm scared of the DR cross, meaning, you know, it helps you open up the opponent faster. All right, so that is what a DR cross is. Uh, another thing of which helps to make a DR cross is, there's also two different types of DR crosses. Like I said, there's one that mimics the timing of DR, but there's also one that has a red circle around it. For example, Vegito's EX Command Grab, which I touched about a little bit earlier. So right here, you can see there's a red circle around it. All right, now if you guys remember, DR also has a circle around it. Yes, it is green and it is a different type of color. But in the heat of the moment while playing, sometimes it's very hard to, to see which one you are trying to get into. So just because they're different colors, there's still a circle at the end of the day. So when you end up doing something like this, it ends up making people want to tuck. So this is really good. The only problem is not every red circle means it's going to work. For example, Kid Boo's. Kid Boo's one is too fast. It's 17 frames. It's, a lot, it's faster than the fastest DR, which is 19 frames. So even though it may make me, even though it may make me want to tuck, it's so fast that my DR doesn't come out on time. That's why I was saying earlier is you kind of wanted to mimic the timing of DR or a little bit slower. So Kid Boos, you wouldn't be able to do it, but someone like Base Vita, you are able to. So he has two EX moves. He has this, which is DR Crush, which is 29, and he has this, which is 24. They both end up working because they both have the red circle. And anything from around 24 to 30 is, I would say, the good DR Crush timing. You can do some early ones, like 20. But anything under 20, I wouldn't recommend or, uh, of saying it's a good DR move, a DR crest move. This one hits uh, another good example of it. So this is 18. So, but if he ends up doing the full version, you see how it ends up 36 frame. So yeah, anything that has that is slower than DR can work as a DR crest. Okay, so you'll be like, wait, when do I use this? Now I know what a DR crest, but when do I use it? All right, so now I'm going to teach you when to use it. So most of the time, you want to use this if a lot of people end up taking a lot of your DRs. So if they end up taking a lot, you just want to hit them with the DR crush. So whether it's someone like Hit, you do that, and it's really hard. So I'm going to have Hit do it to me really quick, all right? So I'm going to have him do this, and I'm going to have him do regular DR. All right, now I have these both options at the random, and I'm going to try doing it to both. So I ended up taking it, right? I ended up taking it again, but I should have them do it on random, but it's, I didn't put random. Okay, there you go. So I ended up taking it. Eventually, I'm going to end up getting hit, but as you guys can see, right right there, I saw the red circle, which ended up making me do DR. So, these stuff for anyone that has really good defense, 
and it's taking a lot of your DR is you're able to do this. Most times, some people that have really good defense, you, can, you know, detail to both. But the, the, the thing is, you're making them hesitate. And in this game, if you're making someone hesitate on defense, your offense is probably one of the better ones in the game. And that is what we're trying to do at the moment. So yeah, this is kind of what a DR crush is at the moment. So I will even, you know, I'll even play a game with you guys really quick. Uh, this was kind of just telling you guys how to do a DR crush. But yeah, let, let, let me just go into the game really quick and show you guys how it really works. All right, guys, we'll be back in two seconds. All right, guys, we are now back. And as you guys can see, I have two characters I was showing in training mode with DR crushes. And I also have Bardock. Bardock's uh, DR crush is Gut Punch. So I'm going to show you guys the in-game testing of this really quick. Hopefully I can not get some up. Nice, super though. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna try really hard to like condition him to take DR. And then yeah, we'll see what we can do after that. All right, right now we have Kefla going in. All right, so right now I'm gonna see if he tucks. Okay, he had a little spark game. He didn't want to take anything. All right, we'll see if he tucks again. All right, so as you guys can see, he tucked this first one. All right, so now we are going to keep going. Most of the time, you would know if your DR across the works if it says counter, because that means they will end up they will end up pressing something, right? No, I ended up okay. I lost Kefla. This isn't good. That's okay. Well, this is why we picked three characters that have DR crushes so we could do this. Oh, wait, I didn't lose that. Okay, well, we got a happy birthday, so I guess we, we just move with this for right now. I don't think he dies though. I think I had to optimize it a little bit more. Yeah, all right, but look. So remember, he took the last DR, right? So you see right there, he, he, so with him, he tried to tech, but he was teching earlier with 2H. But since he thought it was a move, he teched the 2H to cover Vegeta's air one and that one. So, since he did that, I ended up hitting him. Alright, so let's try this again. Oh, I got grabbed. Oh, he didn't combo me. Oh, I am getting shot. All right, right now we are getting kind of redone to us by some lab coat. I know new extension, so now he has to waste all three bars. It's kind of unfortunate for him. And I almost live because of it too. All right, so let's go with Bardock really quick. All right, so he ended up taking that one. All right, so now we end up doing the DR crush again. Oh, right, well, so this one he won't get hit by, but I guarantee this one he will. Told you. Oh, I did the wrong combo. But the reason why he got hit by that one is because the JH right there mimics the same timing as DR, as I was telling you guys before. So now since it was closer to the DR timing, he ended up getting hit by it. And speaking of DRs, I got hit by it with no DR crest. Alright, so let me get back into there. Damn. I think I set into the nether room. It's okay though. We're still here. Alright, well we have Kefla. Let's try and win this game really quick with Kefla. Let's see how this goes. I don't have, oh, I don't have a spike button. Ooh, he thought, you know, when you block spark in the air, I am very plus. All right, so let's try and end this with a DR quest at the moment. Let's see how it goes. I might lose the game for this, but come on. What are we here for if it's not for the content? Oh. Oh, perfect. Nah, I really. All right, I hope. I feel like he's gonna reflect, but I kind of need him to block just for this to work, so. Right, I'm gonna do it again. Ooh! 
We saw right there, he ended up hitting 2L because he thought, so most people tech with 2L, 2H, or DR. But since he tech with 2L and he thought it was DR, my move ended up hitting him. So yeah, this is the last game I am going to sell it. But yeah, I hope you guys get the concept of it. If you guys have any, any questions about it in general, make sure to just ask me in the comment down below, you know, I'll, I'll get to it. But yeah, but let's win this game right now too. Okay. Uh, ooh, oh, I thought I thought I was a Bardock Master for a second. Okay, I'm not a Bardock Master. I mean, I said Bardock Master. I thought I was a basic Vita Master. Alright, let's keep going into there. Damn, I'm over here getting some moat. Alright, leave me alone, please. Oh, okay. Don't worry, I'll sell my Master right now. Never mind. <laughs> Don't quote me on anything, guy. No! My base is Vita! You don't have these. I guarantee you don't have these. Nope. I I'm telling you, you don't have these. Nope, you're messing up your super. Well, he didn't mess up his super. Alright. We're gonna. It's okay. We still have a baby girl Kefla right here. The legendary Super Saiyan. Nice punish. It's actually really good. I was trying to catch his landing, but he stopped his landing with, um, Ujaya. Okay, it's okay. I'm here. I blocked these all in my sleep before. Oh my god. Alright, let's go, Kefa. Oop. <laughs> Oh my god, he's scared of my DR cussing. It's too much. I'm telling you, it's too much. And now he's standing too hard at my DR cussing, which means he's able to get hit by everything else. So remember, guys, even if you don't hit him with your DR quest, don't be afraid because now, like I said, they have to stare at it and hesitate on defense. Now they're hesitating on defense, they're not only able to get hit by more grabs, they're able to get hit by more stuff in general. Wait, why did the on hit not hit? Ooh, you like the cypher stuff? Don't I know it's blue, but it's true. Trust me, guy. Ooh, he's massing, he's scared. No, I'll be scared of but uh Alright, uh, what, what better way than to end this video with a DR cast, right? First, we gotta condition him with an actual DR. And then he'll get hit by the DR cast. He, he's gonna take this one, but it's okay. Ow. It's okay. We're alive. As long as we're alive, we're fine. Hmm. Oh. No. Okay. We're not ending this video like this. We're ending it with a DR cuss. No matter what. It's okay. We're ending it with a DR cuss, like I said. No! Get the block! <laughs> I didn't want to kill him if it wasn't a DR cuss. Alright, it's okay. We're gonna win this. Oh. Oh. That's not good. I think I might have lost. Oh! <gasps> no! Alright, well, that's what I get for not ending the game. Yeah, I appreciate you guys watching the video. I hope this video ended up helping. If you guys didn't already, make sure to like this video, comment down below, and let me know what you guys want me to see do next. And yeah, and I'll see ya.